what's so funny about that little mishmash of things I didn't know what they were going to show is every time I said that line about I have one patient and his name is Chuck, Richard Schiff couldn't keep a straight face so we like laughing throughout everything. We couldn't even get through it. I'm surprised that we actually did. Um, overwhelmed is the first thing. Um, and every year, we're always so late, we never make cocktail hours, so I'm trying to make up for it. Um, hello. Big thanks go out to NHMC, Brenda, Alex. Um, so many times on the, the red carpet, everyone asks, what does this mean to you? And, you know, there's a lot of awards, hopefully throughout our, our careers and there's recognition that comes along. But when I look at this room and I see the people sitting through and you try to get to the bar, you try to get to a, you know, the bathroom and you're stopped by so many friends and family that over the years this has been the people that greeted me when I, I'd like to say, stepped off the bus to LA, but when I drove into town the winter of 98, graduated, didn't know anything about LA, had never been, had only driven through. It, it's work that NHMC and its supporters and everybody in this room has done that has made a role like Dr. Neil Melendez possible. I don't salsa dance through the hallways, mostly because I can't. Um, it's not about, solely about, you know, uh, Neil being Latino, but it is a big part of, of who I am and something I try to express throughout every episode, but at the same time, it's not something that's harped upon. It's not a... Uh, uh, a filling a position which I feel so many times we're brought up out of the ranks to fill a position to be the spice in something or to be something interesting and not looked at as, as a whole person and that's what I feel like we're really striving for uh, nights like tonight are incredible because it's a celebration and something we don't get to do a lot and to celebrate each other no mames, man. Come on, I'm trying to do a speech, carnal. <laughs> but in serio. Um, you know, we, we don't get a lot of these opportunities. Thank you, Lala. We don't get a lot of opportunities to celebrate. But I'll tell you what, it doesn't take long to be on that red carpet before I'm riled up again. Because everyone, I've been answering the same questions for 20 years. How does it feel? What, a, what strides have we made? And um, I'd love to say in many ways the strides are big. I don't think I'd be where I'd be at, with, again, without a lot of the people in the room and, and the work that's been done. But there's still so much because I feel like it really just comes down to rampant racism and a lot of other ugly truths that people don't want to admit. And I think with this new election and with this president, we've all gotten to see that. So there's a lot of reality that we're faced with. And if anything, the fight has never been more necessary than it is now. So my hats off to the, the other honorees. Diane, where are you? Ms. Guerrero, you are an absolute force. And we've loved watching you up there, um, you telling your story, being honest. Um, you don't pull any punches either. And you know what? We've been doing it for too long. There's, there's, there's no reason to pull anything. You tell your story and fight. And um, there's so many people out there that depend on you. And to watch that growth has been incredible. I love watching you on your show, but I love watching you out there changing lives. Um, I wish I could have that kind of effect, and I hope to one day have that kind of effect. But that's it. Um, I want to say just uh, thank you uh, to one person, really, uh, my amazing wife. Changed my life. And I know uh, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you and our lovely daughter who's sleeping upstairs right now. She literally is sleeping upstairs in the room. Um, I can't help but, uh, but smile when I think about it and the life that you have given me. Not only hers, but the life that I, uh, growing up in this business, I think LA is the kind of town that caters to many remaining children. We can be up in the club till we're 50 and no one looks askance for some reason. And I think it's time to screw up and um, thank you. Thank you for teaching me everything about love and giving me an amazing life. And I wouldn't be here without you.
Joel King, an excellent agent. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, we've been through ins and outs. We were there when uh, I didn't become a star fast enough for some people, but you've always believed in me and uh, the ups and downs, and believe me, there have been many downs. Uh, we're here now, and uh, I, can't, I can't say I, I've never been happier. And that's, that's all due to your belief and your work for me. And um, same thing, Adam Griffin, Link Entertainment. Um, without you guys by my side, I don't know where I'd be. David Lust, my, my awesome publicist, thank you so much. We worked together in the Resurrection Boulevard days, and here we are all these years later, getting a chance to get out there again. I thank you. I love you guys, and I appreciate everything. Um, this was supposed to be two minutes long, but I'm gonna hang out a little bit longer. Um, I just, I just honestly want to say thank you to David Shore, the writers that continually come to me and ask me what we want to talk about, to continually run things by me and see if it's something I agree with. And every time they want to try to throw in something that tries to cater to me being Latino but doesn't really, really get to the root of things and show us as three-dimensional characters, I balk at. And they've been very, they've been very uh, understanding and, and open about all of that and, and uh, shepherding us through that process and uh, I couldn't be happier. So thank you to everyone in this room and uh, thank you for the work you all do. Um, I think all the honorees tonight can really say that uh, without it, we wouldn't be accepting these awards tonight. So salute to all of you. <laughs> the fight just continues. And this will be right there with